Welcome back to Physics Junction. In today's video, let me talk about nanocomposites. Nanocomposites are a new class of materials which have a broad consideration because of their prospects to combine fascinating properties of different nanoscale systems to enhance optical, electronic, magnetic and mechanical properties. The nanocomposite is a combination or a matrix in which different materials are combined to develop a material with new properties. Thus, in a nanocomposite, one or more nano-sized materials embedded either in a ceramic, metal or polymer matrix. In a nanocomposite system, the different constants are connected by weak interactions such as van der Waals hydrogen bonding, weak electrostatic interactions or by covalent bonds. A nanocomposite consists of two parts that is a continuous phase and a discontinuous reinforcing phase. Therefore, nanocomposite is a multi-phase structure with at least one phase on the nanoscale dimension. It possesses a combination or different uh, mechanical, electrochemical, electrical, catalytic, thermal and optical properties from the constant materials. So the example for nanocomposite materials, semiconductor nanoparticles embedded in matrix of metal or polymer or ceramic nanostructures. Based on the matrix used the nanocomposites are classified into three types. One is metal matrix nanocomposites, ceramic matrix nanocomposites, polymer matrix nanocomposites. And the examples for a different nanocomposite matrices are given here. So the next one is core shell nanocomposites. In a core cell nanocomposite, the core nanoparticles are encapsulated by a thin shell of a second material. So this is the core and this outer one is the shell. And this cell is a physical barrier between the optically active core and the surrounding medium. And the cell makes the core less sensitive to environmental changes, surface chemistry and photo acceleration. Also the cell part suppresses surface electronic trap states giving rise to a strongly enhanced fluorescence quantum yield. Next let's move on to different shapes of core shell nanocomposites. The shape of the nanocomposites may be spherical, centric, eccentric, star-like or tubular in shape. So how the shape and the size of the individual components of hybrid structure is determined? It can be varied through proper choice of surface capping group, rigor ratio, temperature and reaction duration. Thus depending on the size and the shape their properties are tuned. Then types of core shell material that is what is the type of core material and the shell material. So the first one is metal core, metal shell. The second one metal core, non-metal shell. And third is the metal core, polymer shell. And fourth one non-metal core, non-metal shell. Then fifth one polymer core, non-metal shell. Then last one is polymer core, polymer shell. And here I have shown the different shapes of the nanocomposite structure. So far we learned about different matrix of nanocomposites. So here I am going to focus on metal matrix nanocomposite that is metal semiconductor nanocomposite or metal nanoparticles decorated semiconductor nanocomposite. The metal semiconductor nanocomposites are formed by coupling metal and semiconductor nanostructures. At the metal semiconductor interface, there is a transport of photo excited electrons which helps to promote the energy transfer. And the nanocomposite show a synergetic property that is not present in the individual component. Therefore, the property of an individual component of the nanomaterial is tailored by adding another component or multiple components of the nanomaterials. Next, I am going to talk about metal semiconductor nanocomposite formation mechanism. The first step is synthesis of metal nanoparticles and semiconductor quantum dots. The preparation methods may be wet chemical, salvothermal, hydrothermal, char gel or ball milling techniques. In the case of metal nanoparticle preparation, reducing agents are used. For example, sodium borohydride. The reduced agents are used to convert the dissolved metal ions into nanoparticles and subsequently stabilized by the capping agent. The next step is coupling metal nanostructures and the semiconductor quantum dots. And it can take a range of combination. So for example, if we see here, the core part is here, semiconductor nanoparticles. The metal nanoparticles are arranged on the surface of the semiconductor nanoparticles that is decorating the semiconductor nanoparticles with metal ions. So here the metal ions are anchored over the surface of the semiconductor nanoparticles. The semiconductor nanoparticles may be 
metal oxide or metal sulfide semiconductor particles and in the second picture we have the metal nanoparticles at the middle and the semiconductor quantum dots are anchored on the surface of the metal nanoparticles and there is an electrostatic interaction between the negatively charged shell and the positively charged core material the metal core shows significant impacts on the optical and the fluorescence emission properties of optically active semiconducting shell material and this is called a metal nanoparticle semiconductor quantum dots nano composite in some cases there is another possibility that is the formation of semiconducting layer over the metal nanoparticle surface or formation of metal nanoparticles layer over the semiconductor nanoparticle core and such a structures are known as the metal semiconductor nano hybrid next let me talk about a nano composite photocatalyst photocatalyst materials convert the toxic components into the non toxic components and they find more application in environmental purification most of the semiconductor nano photocatalysts show some drawbacks that is the faster electron hole recombination however the preparation of metal semiconductor uh, nano composite can enhance the catalytic efficiency of the semiconductor nano photocatalyst in this case let's take agzns that is ag ions decorated zns nano composite and the system is kept under irradiation that is the visible light so upon irradiation electron hole pairs are generated and the holes are involved in oxidation reaction electrons involved in reduction reaction after degradation the dye molecules are decomposed into co2 or amino acids and h2o molecules that is the toxic components are converted into non toxic components and this process is called the photocatalysis next representation of energy transfer in metal semiconductor nano composites in metal semiconductor nano composites the metal nano particle acts as an electron sink which promotes the interfacial charge transfer and thereby reduces the electron hole recombination so in this case we have the metal nano particles and this is the semiconductor nano structures the metal nano particles exhibits the uh, unique property that is called localized surface plasma resonance due to the localized plasma resonance the hot electrons are produced the hot electrons are then injected into the conduction band of the semiconducting material and more number of electrons are available for uh, reduction and oxidation reactions thereby it improves the catalytic efficiency of the nano photocatalyst materials thus the plasma enhanced electron hole pair generation is achieved here most importantly the excitation wavelength should match with the plasma resonance of the metal nano particles in the case of metal semiconductor nano composite or hybrid system the electronic structure is determined by the size shape and composition of the constituent materials so here we learned the plasma mediated catalytic process how the plasmons are useful in improving the catalytic efficiency of the semiconductor photocatalyst here i have listed the references i hope you got some basic ideas about nano composites if you have any questions please let me know thanks for watching